Local authorities say a suicide attack on a U.S. consulate vehicle in northwestern Pakistan has killed four people and wounded 19. A car packed with explosives rammed another that had just left the U.S. consulate in the city of Peshawar. There are conflicting reports over whether two Americans are among the dead. A local authority showed reporters the passport of one of the two U.S. citizens he claimed had died. But the U.S. State Department said no Americans had been killed. This is how the regional information minister described today's scene. They were vehicles of foreigners, of Americans, and the suicide bomber came between them and blew himself up. Some of the Americans are injured, but they have taken them away, so we do not know where they took them. You can see how powerful the blast was from the position of the bulletproof car. There is no trace left of the suicide bomber's car, and the bulletproof U.S. consulate vehicle is destroyed inside out. Journalist Shakut Paracha has been following developments for me, and he joins me now live from Islamabad. Uh, what's the latest you have on casualties? Well, the police, Peshawar police, told me that, in fact, two people, they are dead and 25 injured. Uh, when this blast took place, three vehicles of the U.S. consulate were going. A suicider in the car with explosive-laden car, he struck against uh, the, the first leading car of the U.S. consulate. The regional provincial information minister told me initially that, in fact, Two Americans and two Pakistanis, they got killed after the attack. However, the U.S. Embassy in Islamabad issued, rather forwarded the statement of the U.S. State Department and clarified that none of the U.S. officials of the consulate were killed. However, the U.S. Embassy in its statement admitted that two U.S. citizens and two Pakistani employees of the consulate they were injured in the blast. Uh, and the city of Peshawar is no stranger to these types of attacks. It's very close to the Afghanistan border. Do the authorities have any idea at this stage who might be behind the attack? In fact, no militant group has taken or accepted the responsibility of the blast. However, in the past, Militant groups have been targeting the Pakistani security forces as well as the U.S. nationals in Pakistan.